Revelation 16. Then I heard a mighty voice from the temple sanctuary saying to the seven angels, Go and empty out on the earth the seven bowls of God's wrath and indignation. So the first angel went and emptied his bowl on the earth, and foul and painful ulcers, sores came on the people who were marked with the stamp of the beast and who did homage to his image. The second angel emptied his bowl onto the sea, and it turned into blood like that of a corpse, thick, corrupt, ill-smelling, and disgusting, and every living thing that was in the sea perished. And the third angel Oops. I'm sorry I had to connect my charger to my phone. Verse 4, Then the third angel emptied out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they turned into became blood. And I also heard the angel of the waters say, Righteous, just are you in these, your decisions and judgments, you who are and were, O Holy One, because they have poured out the blood of your people, the saints, and the prophets, and you have given them blood to drink, such as their due, they deserve it. And from the altar I heard the cry, Yes, Lord, God, the omnipotent, your judgments, sentences, decisions are true and just and right. And then the fourth angel emptied out his bowl upon the sun, and it was permitted to burn scorch humanity with fierce glowing heat, fire. People were severely burned, scorched by the fiery heat, and they reviled and blasphemed the name of God who has control of these plagues. And they did not repent of their sins. They felt no regret, contritions, and compunction for their waywardness, refusing to amend their ways to give him glory. Then the fifth angel emptied his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was plunged in darkness. And people gnawed their tongues for the torment of their excruciating distress and severe pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their anguish and their ulcers, sores. They did not deplore their wicked deeds or, or repent for what they had done. Then the sixth angel emptied his bowl on the mighty river Euphrates. Its water was dried up to make ready a road for the coming of the king of the east from the rising sun. And I saw three loathsome spirits like frogs leaping from the mouth of the dragon and from the mouth of the beast and from the mouth of the false prophet. For really, they are the spirits of demons that perform signs wonders, miracles, and they go forth to the rulers and leaders all over the world to gather them together for war on the great day of God the Almighty. Behold, I'm going to come like a thief, blessed, happy, to be envious, he who stays awake, alert, and who guards his clothes so that he may not be naked and have shame of being seen exposed. And they gather them together at the place which in Hebrew is called Armageddon. And the seventh angel emptied out his bowl into the air. A mighty voice came out of the sanctuary of heaven from the throne of God, saying, It is done. It's all over. It's all accomplished. It has come. And there followed lightnings, flashes, loud rumblings, earthquake nothing like it has ever occurred since men dwelt on the earth so severe and far-reaching was that earthquake the mighty city was broken into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and god kept in mind mighty babylon to make her drain the cup of his furious wrath and indignation every island fled and no mountain could be found and great excessively 
oppressive hailstones as heavy as a talent, between 50 and 60 pounds, of immense size fell from the sky on the people, and men blasphemed God for the plague of the hail. So very great was the torture of that plague.